So, so what, Bob? I'm sorry, Donnie. All right. I'm sorry, Donnie. Yeah. Well, maybe he's still in there. If you think that, Bob, how come you're here? I came in. You don't come in, Bob. You don't come in until you do a thing. He didn't come out. Hey, what do I care if he came out or not, Bob? You're supposed to watch a guy, you watch him. Am I wrong? It just went to the back. Why? Why did you do that? Because he wasn't coming out the front. Well, Bob, I'm sorry, but this isn't good enough. If you're going to do business, if we got a business deal, this isn't good enough. I want you to remember this. I do. Yeah, now. But later what? It's one thing, Bob. Action counts. Action talks and bullshit walks. <laughs> I only went around the seas coming out with no. that. No. Don't go fuck yourself around with these excuses. I'm sorry. Don't say you're sorry. I'm not mad at you. You're not? No. Let's clean up here. <laughs> Just one thing. I'm trying to teach you something here. OK? And now look at Fletcher. Fletch? Now, Fletcher is a stand-up guy. Yeah? I don't give a shit. He is a fellow who stands for something. Yeah. You take him and you put him down in some strange town with just a nickel in his pocket, and by nightfall, he will have that town by the balls. And this is not talk ball. This is action. Well, he's a real good card player. You fucking A he is. And that's what I'm getting at. Skill. Skill and talent. And the balls to arrive at your own conclusions. <laughs> The fucker won 400 bucks last night. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And who was playing? Me. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh, and teach. How teach to? Not too good. Oh, uh, no, huh? No. And Earl was here. Uh-huh. And Fletcher. How'd he do? He won 400 bucks. Woo! <laughs> and who else won? Ruthie, she won. Well, she won, huh? Yeah. <laughs> she does OK. Oh, yeah. She's an OK card player. Yes, yeah, she is. I like her. Fuck. I like her, too. There's nothing wrong with that. No. I mean, she treats you right. Uh-huh. How'd she do? I mean, she did okay. You win? I did all right. Yeah? Yeah. Not like Fletch. Oh, no, huh? Fletcher. He plays cards. Yeah, he's real sharp. You're goddamn right he is. Oh, I know it. Was he born that way? Huh? I'm saying, was he born that way, or do you think he had to learn it? Well, learn it. Goddamn right, and don't forget it. Everything, Bobby. It's gonna happen to you. It's not gonna happen to you. The important thing is, can you deal with it? And can you learn from it? And this is why I'm telling you to stand up. It's no different with you than with anyone else. Everything I or Fletcher know, we picked up on the street, and that's all business is. Common sense, experience, and talent. Like when he threw Ruthie out of that pig iron. What pig iron? That he got off at that time. When was this? On the back of a truck. That wasn't, I don't think, her pig iron. No. No, that was his pig iron, Bob. Yeah? Yeah, he bought it off her. Well, she was real mad at him. She was. Yeah. And she was mad at him. Yeah, but he stole the pig iron. He didn't steal it, Bob. No? No. Well, she was mad at him. That very well may be, Bob, but the fact remains that it was business. That's what business is. What? People taking care of themselves, huh? No. Because there's business and there's friendship, Bobby. There are many things. And when you walk around, you hear a lot of things. And what you got to do is you got to keep straight who your friends are and who treated you like what, or else the rest is garbage, Bobby. Because I want to tell you something. <laughs> OK. Things are not always what they seem to be. I know. And there's lots of people, Bob. They want this, they want that. They do anything to get it. You don't have friends this life. You want some breakfast? I'm not hungry. Never skip breakfast, Bob. Why? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I'm not hungry. <laughs> it makes no earthly difference in the world, Bob. You know how many nutritive benefits they got in coffee? Uh-uh. <laughs> Zero. Not one thing. The stuff eats you up. You cannot live on coffee. And I've told you this before, you cannot live on cigarettes. And you may feel good. You may feel fine, but something is getting overworked, and you are going to pay for it. Now, what do you see me eat when I come in here every day? Coffee. Come on. Don't fuck with me, Bob. I drink a little coffee. But what do I eat? Yogurt. Right. Why? 
Because it's good for you, you're goddamn right. And it wouldn't kill you to take a vitamin. Ah, they're too expensive. Don't worry about it, you should just take them. Well, you'll buy some for me? Do you need them? Yeah. Well, then I'll get you some. What do you think? Well, thanks, honey. It's for your own good, don't thank me. Okay. I just can't use you in here like a zombie. I just went to the back. I don't care. Do you see? Do you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. Well, we'll see. I'm sorry, Donnie. Well, we'll see. Good morning. Good morning, Peach. <laughs> uh, it's fucking Ruthie. <laughs> uh, fucking Ruthie. Fucking Ruthie. Fucking Ruthie. Fucking Ruthie. Fucking Ruthie. <laughs> what? Uh, fucking Ruthie. <laughs> yeah? I come to the Riverside to get a cup of coffee, right? I sit down at the table, Grace and Ruthie. I'm just gonna order a cup of coffee. Right. Grace, Ruthie, they're having breakfast. They're done. Plates, crusts of stuff all over. Yeah. So we'll shoot the shit, huh? Talk about the game. Yeah. <laughs> so, down I sit. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> I take a piece of toast off of Grace's plate, uh -huh. and she goes, Help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> help myself. I should help myself to half a piece of toast. It's four slices for a quarter. <laughs> I should have a nickel every time we're down at the game. I pop for coffee, cigarettes, sweet roll. Never say a word, you know? Bobby, see you once what, huh? Fucking roast beef sandwich, am I right? Ah, oh, shit. We're sitting down. How many times do I pick up the check? But no, because I don't make a big thing out of it. You no, know, it's no big thing. You don't flaunt like, oh, well, this one's on me, like some bust out asshole, <laughs> but naturally, I assume I'm with friends. And remember who's who when somebody gets behind half a yard or needs some help with some, huh, some fucking rent, or somebody drops enormous piles of money at the track, or somebody is sick or something. This is what I'm talking about. Right? And I tell you this, Don, and I don't think I'm casting anything on anyone, but from the mouth of a southern bull dyke Asshole ingrate of a vicious nowhere cunt can this trash come. <laughs> and I take nothing back. I know you're close with them. With Grace and Ruthie. Yes. Well, I like them. I've always treated everybody more than fair. Never gone around complaining. Is this true, Don? Yep. Someone's against me, that's their problem. I can look out for myself. I don't gotta go fuck around behind somebody's back. I don't like the way they treat me. Or, or pray some brick safe falls, hits them on the head, they're walking down the street. <laughs> How that shit? turn in one breath every fucking sweet roll I ever eat with them in the ground glass. <laughs> and I'm wondering, were they sitting there eating and thinking, oh, geez, this guy's an idiot to blow a fucking quarter on his friends. This hurts me, Don. This hurts me in a way I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> you're, you're probably just upset. Oh, you fucking am upset. I am very upset, Don. If they got their problems, too. I would kids. like to have their problems. Enough some personal. I'm just yeah. saying they were probably, uh, Talking about well, then let them talk about it then. I'm sorry, Don. I cannot brush this off. They treat me like an asshole. They are an asshole. The only way to teach these people is to kill them. <laughs> Want some coffee? I'm not hungry. Come on, I'm sitting by the riverside. Fucking joint. Yeah. They harbor assholes in there. <laughs> Come on, what do you want, Pete? Bob? Yeah. Uh. Come on, it's going anywhere. Give me a Boston and um, go for the yoga. What kind? You know, plain if they got it. And if they don't, something else. And get yourself something. What? Whatever you want. <clears throat> get yourself something to eat. And whatever you want to drink. And get teacher a coffee. Boston teach? No. What? Black. Right. And something for yourself to eat. <laughs> Who doesn't want to eat? You got to eat. And this is what I'm saying at the Riverside. Black coffee. <laughs> yes. Whatever you want to eat. What do you want to eat? An English muffin? No, I don't want an English muffin. And get teaching an English muffin to make sure they give you jelly. I don't want an English muffin. Well, what do you want? I don't want anything. Oh, come on. Teach, eat something. You feel better eat something, teach. <laughs> get an order of bacon, real dry, real crisp. Okay, tell the broad if it's for me. She'll give you more. Okay. Or anything else? No. A cantaloupe? No, I never eat cantaloupe. No? Gives me the runs. <laughs> <laughs> and tell him not to say anything to Ruthie. He wouldn't. No? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry, Bob. It's okay. 
I'm upset. It's okay, teach. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And the plane, if they got it, I will. You wouldn't say anything. What the fuck do I care? There's not one loyal bone in that bitch's body. How'd you finally do last night? This has nothing to do with that. No, I know. <laughs> I'm just asking to talk. Last night? You were here, Don. How'd you do? Not well. Mm -hmm. The only one won any money is Fletch and Rupi. Cunt had to win $200. She's a good card player. She is not a good card player, Don. She is a mooch, and she is a locksmith, and she plays like a woman. <laughs> Fletch is a good card player. I'll give him that. Rupi? I mean, you see the way she fucking plays? Yeah. And always with that cunt on her shoulder. Grace? Yes. Grace is her partner? Well, then let her be her partner, then. See what I'm talking about? Everybody, they're sitting at the table. And then Grace is gonna walk around, fetch an ashtray, go for coffee, this, and everybody's all, well, they aren't gonna hide their cards, and gonna make a show how they don't hunch over, and like that, I don't give a shit. Say the broad's a fucking partner, and she walks behind me, I'm gonna hide my hand. Yeah. And I say anybody who doesn't's out of their mind. We're talking money, for Christ's sake, huh? We're talking cards. Now, friendship is friendship and a wonderful thing, and I am all for it. <laughs> you know me on this point, okay? But let's just keep the two separate, huh? Let's just keep the two apart, and maybe we can deal with each other like some human beings. This is all I'm saying, Don. And I know you got a soft spot in your heart for Ruthie. Yeah? I know you like the broad and Grace and Bob. I know he likes them, too. He likes them? I like them, too. I know. I know. I, I'm not averse to this. I am not averse to sitting down. I know we will sit down. These things happen. I'm not saying that they don't. <laughs> but all I ever ask, and I would say this to her face, is that she remembers who's who. And not to go around with her or Gracie either with this attitude. The past is the past. And this is now, and so fuck you. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. <sighs> so what's new? Nothing. Same old shit, huh? Yep. You see my hat? No. Did you leave it here? Yeah. You asked me with the rib? No, I left it here. Well, you left it here. It's here. You see it? No. Fletch Finney? No. Probably show up one or so, huh? Yeah, you know. You never know a Fletcher. No. He might show up in the morning. Yeah. And then he might. He's gone 10, 15 days. You never know he's gone. Yeah. Why? I just gotta talk to him. Ruth would know. You sure you didn't see my hat? I didn't see it, no. Ruthie might know. Vicious thing. Look in the john. No, it isn't in the john. I wouldn't leave it there. <laughs> you got something up with Fletch? No. I just got to talk to him. Uh, we'll probably show him. Oh, yeah. What are these? Those? Yeah. They're from 1933. From the... the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Your dad a whole market in Just like anything. They license out the shit, everybody makes it. Yeah. yeah. I knew that. <laughs> they, had, um, they had combs, you know, combs and brushes. Brushes with the uh, the thing on it. Yeah, I know they had a what? Uh, clothing too, huh? I think. Yeah. Sure. Everything like that. And these guys, they collect the stuff. They got that much of it around? Shit, yes. It's not that long ago. The thing, it ran. Uh, Two years and they had, I don't know, all kinds of people that are coming down every year. Mm -hmm. They buy everything they can lay their hands on. They're going to take it back to uh, Buffalo, give it to their hand or whatever. And it mounts up. What's it go for? A compact? Yeah. Uh, you want it? No. I'm just saying, you want no, it? No, I mean, somebody walks in here. Oh, somebody walks in here. But this shit's fashionable. <laughs> I don't doubt it. And they're going to have to go, like, 15 bucks? You're full of shit. My word, <laughs> want it. No shit. Everything like that. <laughs> What a bunch of fucking thieves. Yeah. <laughs>
What a bunch of crap, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Every goddamn thing. Shit, if I kept the stuff that I threw out, yes. I would be a wealthy man today. Mm -hmm. I'd be cruising on some European yacht. Mm -hmm. Shit, my father used to keep in his desk drawer. My father, too. The basement, mm -hmm. fucking toys in the backyard. Don't even say. talk about it's, it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Want to play some gin? Maybe later. Okay. I don't know. It's fucking day. Yeah. It's fucking weather. Think it's gonna rain? Yeah, I do. Later. Yeah? Well, look at it. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Well, Ruthie isn't mad at you. She is. No. How do you know? I found out. How? I talked to her. You talked to her. Yes. I thought I asked you, you weren't going to. Well, she asked me. What? You were over here. And what'd you tell her? You were here. Oh. What did you say to her, Bob? Just teach was here. And is she coming over here? I don't think so. They had the plane. So? That's all right. It's all right. That's all right, Bob. Everything's all right for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't eat that shit. Why? It's just I have a feeling about health foods. It's not health foods, <laughs> teach. It's only yogurt. That's not health foods? No. Yogurt? They've had it like forever. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? A little bit can't hurt you. It's good for you. Okay, okay. Each one his own opinion, huh? Was Fletcher over there? No. Where's my coffee? It's not there? No. I told him specially to put it in. So where is it? They forgot it. I'll go back and get it. Would you mind? No. <laughs> you gonna get it? Yeah? What, Bob? Can I talk to you? What is it? I saw him. Who? The guy. <clears throat> you saw the guy? Yes. That I'm talking about? Yes. Just now? Yeah, he's going somewhere. He is? Yeah, he's putting a suitcase in the car. The guy I wrote up. Well, just him. He got in the car and he drove off. <clears throat> what? He gets in the car. Puts a suitcase in the car. Mm -hmm. And then he drives away. So where is she? Well, he's going to pick her up. What was he wearing? Well, stuff. Traveling clothes. Okay. Uh, now you're talking. Yeah? See what I mean? <coughs> and he had a coat on, too. All right. Like a raincoat. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Bob, go get me that coffee, would you mind? Uh, no. <laughs> and what'd you get yourself? Oh, I didn't get anything. Well, give me my coffee and get yourself something to eat, okay? Okay. Good. <laughs> How's bacon? Ah, they always fuck it up. Yeah? This time they fucked it up too burnt. Mm. <laughs> Gotta be breathing on their neck. Yeah. Like a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Any business? Yeah. You wanna run it right? Be there. Mm -hmm. Like you. What? Like the shop. Well, no one's gonna run it. I'm not here. No. Got to be here. Yeah. One man shows. Mm -hmm. So, uh... What is this thing with the kid? I mean, is it anything, huh? It's not, you know. Yeah? It's what? It's uh, just some, uh, some guy we spot. Yeah, some guy? Yeah. Some guy? And what time is it? No. No. Fuck, what? You parked outside? Yeah. You okay in the meter? Yeah, the broad came by already. Good. Yeah, she came by already. Good. Yeah. You want to tell me what this thing is? The thing? Yeah. What is it? It's nothing. I know. What is it, jewelry? It's nothing, you know. Oh. You know. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know. Who am I, a policeman? Uh, <laughs> I'm making conversation, huh? Yeah. Huh? You know, I'm just asking to talk. Yeah, okay. I can deal without this, Don. No, no, no. Hold on. I'll tell you. Tell me if you want to tell me, Don. I want to teach. Yeah? Yeah. 
Like fucking hope so. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, no, you're absolutely right. Hope so. Now, hold on, I gotta make this call. So what is it? Coins. Coins. Now, hold on, I gotta make this call. <laughs> Hello, this is Donnie Dubro. We were talking the other day. <clears throat> Look at sir. If I could get a hold of some of that stuff you were interested in, would you be interested in some of it? <laughs> <laughs> Those things. Old, yeah. <clears throat> various pieces of various types. Tonight, sometime late. Are they what? Y yes, but I don't see what kind of question is that. <clears throat> At the prices we're talking about? Hey, no, I understand you. Sometime late. One hundred percent. I feel the same. All right. Goodbye. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Guys like that, I like to fuck their wives. I don't blame you. Fucking <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Swear to God. Guy's a collector. Who? The phone guy. Yeah. And the other guy? We spotted? Him too. Yeah. So you get him for his coins. Yeah. And you got a buyer in the phone guy. Asshole. Thing is, you're not sitting with the shit. No. The guy's an asshole or he's not. What do you care? It's business. You're right. The, the guy with the suitcase, he's the mark. Yeah. Where'd you find him? In here. Came in here, huh? Yeah. No shit. Comes in here one day, like a week ago. Uh-huh. Just browse her. And he's looking in the case. He comes up with this buffalo head nickel. 19 something. I don't know. I didn't even know it was there. Yeah. And so it goes, how much would that be? So I'm about to go two bits, jerk that I am. But something tells me to shut up. Mm -hmm. So I go, you tell me. Always good business. Oh, yeah? Uh, I mean, how wrong can you go? That's what I mean. Uh -huh. So he thinks for a minute, and he tells me he'll just shop around. Uh -huh. Yeah, so he's shopping. What? Some cops. Where? At the corner. What are they doing? Cruising. They turn the corner? And so he's shot. Uh, and he's picking up a broken mirror. An old kid's toy, a shaving mug. The five or six items comes to about eight bucks. I get him, I put him in a box. And he tells me he'll go $50 for the nickel. No. Yeah. So I tell him, get this. Not a chance. <laughs> took balls. Well, what the fuck? No, I mean, I he took a chance. You're goddamn right. So I say, not a chance. <laughs> he huh? tells me. 80 is his highest offer. I knew it. Wait. So I go 95. Uh -huh. We settle down on 90. He takes the nickel and leaves the box of shit. You paid for it? The box of shit? Yeah. No. <laughs> so what was the nickel? I don't know. Some rarity. $90 for a nickel? Are you kidding me, Teach? I bet it's worth five times that. Yeah, huh? Are you kidding me? He comes in here, plunks down 90 bucks like nothing. Shit, yeah. What the fuck? It didn't cost you anything. That's not the point. The next day, back he comes. He goes through a whole bit again. He looks at this, he looks at that, it's a nice day. Uh -huh. And he tells me, he's the guy who was in here yesterday and bought the buffalo off me. And do I maybe have some other articles of interest? Uh -huh. So I go, not offhand. He tells me I could get in touch with him, I get some in. I say, sure. He leaves me his car. I'm supposed to call him if anything crops up. Yeah. <laughs> He comes in here like I'm his fucking doorman. Mm -hmm. I mean, he takes me of my coin, and will I call him if I find another one? Yeah. Just doing me this favor by coming into my shop. Yeah. Some people never change. Yeah. Like he's done me this, this big favor by just coming into my shop. Uh huh. So now you're gonna get him. You know I am. So Bob, he watches him. Next to shop. And, and who's the chick? What chick? You asking Bob about? Oh, yeah. The guy, he's married. Or at least we think he's married. I don't know. They got two names on the phone. He's living with this chick anyway. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you should see this chick. Yeah, huh? She is a knockout. <laughs> I mean, she is real nice looking. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> the other day, last Friday, like a week ago, Bob runs and lugs me out to look at him. They're going out on bicycles. An ass on this broad. On Fucking believable in this tight little bicycle <laughs> short sticking up in the air with those short little handlebars. <laughs> fucking fruits. <Yeah. laughs> and so that's it. Bob gets me in touch, Earl gets me in touch with the phone guy. He's his coin collector, and that's it. Fell on your lap. Yeah. You're going in tonight. Looks that way. 
And who's, who's going in? Bobby. Hey, he's a good kid, T. He's a great kid, Don. You know how I feel about the kid. I like him. He's doing good. I can see that. But I gotta say something here. What? Only this, and I don't think I'm getting at anything. What? Don't send the kid in. Oh, I see you send Bobby. Now, look, just wait a second here. Let's sit down on this. Now, what are we talking about here? Loyalty. Now, this is great. This is admirable. What? This loyalty. This is swell. It turns my heart to things you do for the kid. I don't do anything for him, Walt. In your mind, you don't. But I'm saying that the things that you actually go and do for him. Now, this is fantastic. All I'm saying is a guy can be too loyal, Don. Now, don't be dense on this. Now, what are we saying here? Business. I mean, the guy's got you taking his high-speed blender and the magnet box, you send the kid in. You're talking about a real job. You know, they don't come in right away, know they've been had. You're talking about a safe, certainly a good lock or two. And you need some guy that's looking for valuable shit. He's not gonna mess with the stainless steel silverware, huh? That's a digital clock. <laughs> we both know what we're talking about here. We're talking about some job that needs more than the kid's gonna skin pop. Go I don't want you mentioning that. It slipped out. You know how I feel on that. Yes, I do, and I'm sorry, Don. I admire that. All I'm saying, don't confuse business with pleasure. I just don't want that talk, Teach. Do you understand? I more than understand, Don, and I apologize. It's the I'm only sorry. Thing. It's the only thing. All right. But I tell you, I'm glad I said it. Why? Because it's best for these things to be out in the open. But I don't want it in the open. Which is why I apologize. <laughs> You know the fucking kid's clean. I mean, he's working hard, he's trying hard, and you leave him <clears throat> alone. He's trying real hard. And he's no dummy to Apart from it. And all that I'm saying is that the job is beyond him. And where is the shame in this, huh? This is not Jack's. We get up, we go home, we give everything back, huh? You want this fucked up? All that I'm saying, there's the least chance something <laughs> might fuck up. You get the law down, you take the shot, you go in, you couldn't find the coins, whatever. If you see the least chance, you cannot afford to take that chance. Don? I want to go in there and gut this motherfucker, huh? Now, where's the shame in this? Now, you take care of him, fine. Now, this is loyalty. But Bobby has got his own best interest, too. And you cannot afford, and simply, as a business proposition, you cannot afford to take that chance. What is this? <laughs> that? It's a thing they stick in dead pigs, keeps their legs apart, all the blood runs out. <laughs> I set it up with them. You set it up with them. You set it up, and then you told them. I gave her all 10%? Yeah. For what? The connection. So, 10 off the top, 45, 45. And Bobby? 100. 150. We hit big, whatever. And you what? The shot. I go. I go in. I go in. I bring the stuff back. Whatever. What do I do? Well, you mind the fort. Here. Well, yeah. This is the fort. <laughs> you know, this is classical money we're talking about. I know it. Do you think I'm going to fuck with some chump change? So tell me. Well, hold on. I mean, we're still talking. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were done talking. No. Well, let's talk some more. You want to bargain? You want to mess with the points? No. I just want to think for a second. Well, then you think. Well, here's a helpful hint. 50% of some money is better than not.